Welcome back to my channel. My eyebrows are uneven. My nails are crusty. I don't give a fuck. Mind your business. Today's video is going to be a review on some new makeup sponges that I got from the drugstore because my Real Technique sponge is very jacked up and it's time to trash it. I don't know if this is new. I don't know if I'm just late. I don't know. But I've been eyeing this for like two weeks now. So. I finally picked it up and it is the ooh, my weave itch well, my head itch but I've had my weave I got the eco tools perfect blender duo there are two sponges in here it was $7.99 at Joel Osco that's where I got it I seen it at Walmart and I think I seen it at um I think I seen it at Walgreens as well but I got this from Joel Osco for $7.99, so $8 plus tax. Um, I know some places sell it for like $10, which I think is too much, but um, yeah. The back it says, the Perfect Blendo Duo, Blendo. The Perfect Blender Duo is designed in two sizes and densities to create a camera ready look. The large base blender is soft and flexible to create light, buildable coverage. The mini detail blender is firmer for more precise coverage. And they are latex free, dermatologist tested, and 100% vegan. So that's pretty good. I don't really care for things to be, you know, vegan or animal cruelty free. I don't care. It opens like this at the bottom, which I didn't know because I was trying to open it from this, this way. Okay. Hold on. I really did not want to ruin this, and I did. Okay. And here they are. Nice and new and clean. Oh. Okay. So these are the two sponges. Let me. I'm sorry for the lighting, y'all. They have they don't have a point. As this is really dirty, I'm sorry. But mm -hmm. um, because I'm about to throw this away. But on the real technique sponge, it has like a flat part here and this side of the sponge reminds me of that so there's a longer flat part here and a shorter one here so I'm guessing the flat part of you know the long the bigger flat part of both of the sponges are to get into certain things like that and then this small side is for like probably under your eyes and I don't know we don't know we're gonna have to see they are very 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 dense like they're hard and it feels like it's a lot of sponge <laughs> in here they don't have a tip um, like a pointy tip that actually is flat and I'm thinking you'd be able to contour with the small one on the flatter side like you could contour and contour your nose I think that'd be pretty cool oh no I just got it dirty because I just had makeup on, y'all. <laughs> Why? I'm going to go wet these and show you guys how much they expand. Um, we're going to see how big they get because this is pretty big. This one is pretty big to be a small one. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I did wet these. To be honest, it doesn't... They're not as soft as... um my real technique sponge i haven't tried a beauty blender but i know the beauty blender is soft and this does not stay oh my gosh okay this holds a lot of water i thought i drained it that's thumbs down for me because i squeezed the hell out of these things before i came back um there's water all over my leg now, but I'm gonna see how these perform. Alright, I'm back, y'all. So I'm gonna mix these two foundations because these foundations give me the same color as the regular MAC foundation you guys always see me use. This one is too dark and this one is too light. So I mix them and it gets me my um, skin color. So let me do that real quick. 
and I'm not gonna prime or color correct because this is just a um, review video. I'm not gonna waste products, so. Cause I'm running out and I need to re-up. Probably looks lighter on camera, but I promise this is my color. My lighting is just jacked up right now. This is the face, uh, the big, the bigger sponge, so. Y'all, my edge is crusty because I got some damn got to be glued on. So I'm going to take the flatter part, the longer flat part, and I'm going to start blending. This does not get, like it's not soft. It's not soft. And I'm scared because um, the way that that water was just left in there and I you know, squeezed it out when I came back, I'm kind of scared that this, um, these sponges will soak up more product than normal like more than um you know regular beauty sponge would like this is that was a lot of water left in the freaking um thing and i'm scared of that like don't nobody be buying nothing to just be soaked up by a damn sponge okay so it's kind of hard to like Make sure everything is blended because this brush is really a uh, brush. This sponge is really hard. Like it's not soft like my um, real technique sponge. I can say this will be good for people like me who have this extra little flap here. Um, the flat part will definitely be able to help you get in there. Like any creases that you have this this part this part of the sponge will be easy for you to get in you know the, the cracks and crevices and all that but um I don't know it's just that this is really not soft like comparison look how much I can squeeze out of this it's really hard to squeeze down on this like it's pretty hard but I mean it still applies the same like my foundation doesn't look different um, from when I use my real technique sponge or any brushes or anything like that so it's okay it's just that the the sponge is pretty hard like even after you wet it and you you know you if you have a real technique sponge or I'm pretty sure a beauty blender when you do um, wet it to expand it and then squeeze the water out it's still damp this feels like it's like 90% dry after I squeeze the water out of it. I like it though. I like the color and these two little pieces. And this definitely is going to be a lifesaver for me for when I need to um, set my concealer and foundation because I have two little creases under my eyes that always crease up. So it's easy for me to get into those because I can just pull down and do that now so that's a plus the fact that the water was still in the sponge like that really upset me because I didn't expect it to have that much water left over so yeah that's kind of not okay <laughs> in the mirror my foundation looks it looks good it looks nice there's a lot of product a lot I want to show you guys, I wish I could just set up to show you guys when I wash it to see how much product is left over. I'm probably going to put it on Snapchat and then I'll put a clip in this video. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record it. I'm going to record me cleaning this on Snapchat and I'm going to have the clip right here, right here. So I can show you guys how much product is actually soaked up because that water that was left in here really scared me. So I hope, I'm really praying that it doesn't soak up that much product. So I'm pretty sure this one does the same thing. This one is probably for concealer and powder. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stick to having this one for my foundation, this one for concealer and powder. Um, you guys will see uh, see me using these again. I'm going to use these in a new, uh, uh, to, I'm so, guys, I'm tired. Um, you will be seeing me use the sponges in a makeup tutorial for sure, like a full face. Um, so yeah, my foundation looks nice though. It's not uh, wet. It's pretty dry. So, um, and I'm not having any, yeah, my creases are fine under my eyes and uh, especially on my lids too. Like I have creases there too. It's, pretty, it's holding up well. Um, 
my biggest problem is the hardness of the sponges and the fact that that water was still in there on a scale of one to ten i will give the eco tools duo blender duo a i give it a seven out of ten okay because the water and the hardness of the sponge actually the fact that this is still like very 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 dense when you're doing your makeup your arm will start to hurt more than it normally does when you're actually doing your makeup like because it's, it's kind of heavy so i give it a 7 out of 10 i do like the product i like the colors i like the shape of them and i like the fact that they have those flat parts like i said like the flat piece the flat part instead of a pointy tip pretty pretty cool it's kind of different so i will have a final review i don't know when but i will have a final review um of the eco tools blender duo so yeah let me know if you guys have these um sponges and how you guys like them or if you're thinking about purchasing them um yeah i'm all over the place i'm sorry you guys but i'm about to record my first impressions for the foundation that i got so i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video Stop, stop. Yeah, I gotta order more. I ain't set the time once. And I know they say they shine. I ain't seen them shine once. All these rappers is my sons, and I'm always nine months. Man, if this was baseball, I ain't let them slide once. Do you see now?